I'm William Close, and we're developing a show called Sonic Odyssey. The earth harp is one of the main instruments in the show. Literally, the audience is inside of this instrument. The chamber for the instrument rests on the stage, and the strings go out over the audience and attach into the architecture of the theater. You know, one of the things that's really cool about World Caribbean is they really are developing this theatrical media. When I was sitting in the audience watching Sonic Odyssey, I was thinking about what the show needed to be. It was not the show that conventional wisdom would have had us select, but we did it because we saw something special. When I run my hands along the strings, it creates these beautiful tones, very symphonic and powerful. For me to actually be able to turn the Royal Theater into the instrument and string the earth harp in it is super exciting. The way it's laid out is perfect for this instrument. To be in the midst of that instrument and to see the cornucopia of different kinds of instruments and different kinds of sounds, different kinds of emotions, I mean, music really does bring it out. We really wanted to move people and to continue a flow through the show. So if you had something like this, then you would go somewhere completely different. So by the time you leave, you are emotionally spent. We, we dabbled with the name and what to call it because it was around these great instruments, this beautiful sound. We knew we wanted, like Sherry said, to touch and move people. So what do you call a show like that? And Sonic Odyssey came out one day and I don't even remember who said it. And it was like, that's it. The fact that we're able to take the Royal Theater and install the Earth Harp Quantum of the Seas, this amazing ship, will also be an amazing sounding musical instrument. Yeah.